Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, here for today's time of prayer, and it's inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verses 8 to 9, where it says, These people draw near to me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Now in this teaching, Jesus had been talking to the Pharisees, saying, you're, you're hypocrites because you actually set aside one of God's commandments for your own traditions and the ways that you want to do things. Now maybe one of the biggest questions we can ask is, am I setting aside any of God's commandments for things that I want to do, for the ways that I want to see things? You know, it says in the book of uh, Corinthians that circumcision or uncircumcision avails nothing but keeping the commandments of God. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. John wrote in 1 John 5, 3, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is the love of God that we would keep his commandments. Revelation 14 says, here's the patience of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So let me ask you, brothers and sisters, when is the last time you actually read the commandments of God and really looked at them and said, am I doing these things? You see, when we look at God's commandments, as he etched in stone the Ten Commandments, now in the New Covenant, he is writing that same law in our hearts. He didn't do away with his commandments, but rather he wants us to keep them. Just as Jesus walked this earth, he obeyed perfectly all of God's commandments. He never sinned. So that Spirit of Christ is to be in us that we also would keep our Father's commandments and walk in his ways. But we have to start with, do we know what they are? Have we looked at them lately? Have we said, am I putting other gods before you? Am I making any graven image of you, any false image and bowing down to it? Am I taking your name in vain, calling myself a Christian and yet living a different way of life? Do I remember the Sabbath to keep it holy? Do I remember that you made all things in six days and then you blessed and sanctified the seventh? Do I remember that you told me to honor my parents? Am I doing that? Do I remember that you said, do not murder, Am I doing that not just without physically killing, but am I actually giving life to other people who need it? Am I not just not committing adultery, but am I also being faithful in my relationships and in my covenants? Am I looking at the law that says that I shouldn't steal and saying, not only will I not steal, but I'm going to give to people? Am I looking at not bearing false witness against my neighbor, but speaking the truth and proclaiming the majesty of Jesus Christ in my life? And am I not coveting what is my neighbor's, but rather rooting for my neighbor, wanting them to receive the blessings of life, the blessings of abundance, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, not being envious, but loving them. You see, the commandments of God are a way of life, a way of thinking, a way of giving life, of giving gifts, of being generous, of being good, of being godly, of remembering our Creator, of honoring Him first and foremost. And God is wanting us to say, put these things first in your life. If there's any tradition or practice that you have that's saying, I'm going to reject one of God's commandments, we've got to let that go. The commandments are a blessing of life to us. And we should remember that and ask God for the help because here's what we do know. It says in Romans 8, 7, the carnal mind is at enmity with the law of God and is not subject to his law, neither indeed can be. That means there's a part of us, a law of sin in us, that is always working against what God wants in our lives. So we got to have help. And where does the help come from? It's from God in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit in us that we can learn to live and walk in His ways. It says of the New Covenant that not only will He forgive us, but He will bless us with His Spirit and write His law in our heart and in our mind. That's what we need. Are the commandments coming to you, and are you seeing them not just in the letter, but seeing in the Spirit, seeing the truth of them, seeing the essence of them that we may live by that life? That's what we need to ask for every day, for the help to live by the will and way of God that we would walk in his paths, that we would keep his commandments. So let's take the time now to do that. Let's humbly go before God and acknowledge that his ways are right and good and just and ask him to help us obey his commandments, to walk in his commandments and to do those things pleasing in his sight. Let's pray.